Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a video of course on the Euro Dollar and Pound Dollar. All right, this is the Euro Dollar daily chart and price is having some struggle at this spot, but I do think that a breakout to the upside, a bullish break is likely at this point. And there are a couple of uh, evidence or, or factors that I weigh in. The ECS MACD remains thick blue. For instance, on the daily chart, we have HMA still up. We have price closing above the 21 EMA. So those are all uh, factors, I think, for upside. Now, you can see that there are a couple of daily candles that are showing some struggle with big wicks at the top of the candle, indicating failure to move to the upside. But it looks like it's just kind of having difficulty to move up. But the third or, or fourth attempt, it will actually finally break. Because if you look at the four hour chart, we see that we had an attempt to break here and then here and even here. So this breakout could be the fourth attempt. And you know, the more often price tries to break through a level, the weaker that particular support or resistance level becomes. And then uh, more likely actually a breakout is going to occur. So from this perspective, I think that price is kind of going sideways, uh, but that's indicating uh, that a breakout to the upside is likely. We had momentum to the upside. If you look here, momentum, correction, momentum, correction that's another factor so all of that adds up and if you look at the moving averages they're bullishly aligned as well so from this perspective an upside break i think is imminent if you add the whiz level the one we've been using uh for a while now right we said that a break of the third whiz level is very very important for that momentum to the upside and you can see why we, you know, we thought that because look at price really having difficulties at this zone, but we would expect a impulsive uh, piece or zone once it breaks through with 117.30, something like this break, flag, and continue right up to our main target, the fourth whiz level at 118.20, which is also equal to the weekly R2. And if it breaks that by any chance, then this week or next week. Then there's even an extension possible to close to 120, which is the fifth whiz level. We talked about that already in several videos. So you can see why that uh, the third whiz level is so important because it indicates range, it indicates choppiness. That's exactly what happened. And we were on, on guard for that and ready for that. Now, uh, looking at the hourly chart, I don't think there's really much to add. I think that it is looking like a big kind of corrective triangle zone, but everywhere the moving averages are aligned. And also we have green diamond fractals uh, as well on the one hour and four hour chart at least. And prices above the 21 EMA. So I think more or less that uh, things are aligned for a bullish breakout. Just need price to, to confirm the breakout. I would say by, now it's already breaking actually. But what I would like to see is price make a break above that third whiz level. Then make a flag on the hourly chart and then continue. That would be the best. That's what I would most likely uh, most like to trade, uh, you know, if there is a break, pull back and bounce earlier, then that could also be interesting, this bounce. I think that now it's still not interesting because price is pretty much glued to the moving averages. So although I think a bullish break is becoming likely, it's still a little bit on the early side. I think if it pulls away from these moving averages on the one hour uh, and the four hour, uh, and then makes a retracement and then bounces at the, the 21 EMA like this, specifically if we get a fractal here that's in the 21 EMA zone on the one hour chart, for instance, could be a good time frame. Even on the four hour chart, if we get that would be nice. That would be a good confirmation. If you want more info about that, we have a free webinar recently uploaded on our YouTube channel about fractals and you can get more info about that. Those That would indicate a bounce to me, a confirmation of a bounce and continuation to the upside. So that's one thing. The second, of course, is the break above the third whiz level, a flag and continuation. Those are the two main thing I'm, things I'm looking for to trade this euro dollar to the upside. So I'm bullish, but I'm still waiting for those two things to, to confirm. All right, wow, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, sorry for that, a little bit messy, but uh, basically I think that price is heading up to the minus 61.8 target if we, have, if we put a fib on this swing like this right momentum correction momentum price struggling a little bit yesterday was a doji at that 272 target but i think that 132.75 is still doable 
as the minus 61.8 target is there. All right, let me just renew the template quickly. And uh, there we go. And we're looking at, for instance, for price to make that one more push up to the R2 as well. And if we add the WIS tool, you can see that the, the, the levels, the key levels, right, were at four and five, I think. Let's do that right now. And you can see indeed that price broke above the fourth and we're trading it to the, to the fifth level. That's our main target there at around 132.75. So we still think that a push up to that fifth level is likely considering the fact that it's above the fourth, it's above the 21 EMA, the moving averages are aligned. We got a full trend here to the upside. Price is still in a trend channel as well on the pound dollar very clearly. Now, if it were to break below this fractal and the 21 EMA, of course, there could be a bigger bearish correction, maybe down to the pivot and the third was level. And if it breaks uh, below that, maybe even more uh, downside, right? But for the moment, I think upside is, is more likely. Uh, despite the yesterday's doji. Uh, let's take a look at the hourly chart. And uh, we're actually trading this pound dollar already as we speak. And uh, we're still in that trade. And we're good to get a break though above for potential intraday time frames. We'll be good to get a break above this zone, I think, uh, due to the potential head and shoulders pattern, right? Might not play out, but a break above that I think a pullback and a bounce would be good. Now, once again, the bounce, look for a fractal that's in the 21 EMA. That would be indicating uh, a likely continuation because then you have a strong push, pullback, and follow through. All right, so that could be a good way of trading it. Or same thing with the euro dollar, break, flag, and continue. I think the same kind of uh, methods would be valid for the pound dollar as well. It looks like price will move up. It looks like there's plenty of space left to the target. I, I have a bullish bias at this moment, but uh, to trade it, I think it's best to wait for break, pullback, continue, or break, uh, flag, continue. And uh, the best probably on hourly chart, although a four hour chart, I think uh, could be good as well. But one hour chart looks a little bit better, but four hour chart might work as well. If we get a good candle, four hour candle close above that resistance zone here, that would probably likely confirm and trigger a continuation to the upside. All right, last but not least, we have a live seminar coming up on Saturday. That's two days from now, 22nd of September in Ljubljana, Slovenia. It's sponsored by XM Broker. So it's free of charge for you because of that. So I hope to see you there to sign up. I'll add the link down below if you want to still join, if you're in the neighborhood by any chance. Come and see us uh, and join us. Uh, hopefully, there's still spot. The only thing is that there are, I think, 150 seats. I'm not sure if there are any available still, but you can, but you can still check the, the link and, uh, and see if there are any uh, spots available. It's going to be eight hours of fun, four hours of a seminar, and four hours of networking and talking with all traders and, and us, Nenith and myself included. So I hope to see you there and wish you all good trading. Cheers.